although stress, stress and anxiety are demons that we fight every day and where we, we have to battle with every day, them not going to know it. I are the one, and they are the two. What? Welcome to the Bossier's Podcast, where the voice is loud and the reasoning is raw. I am your host, Dale Elliott. People, if you're not subscribed as yet, please subscribe. Click the notification bell. Respect to everybody who has been a subscriber. Respect to all of the new subscribers. So we're moving on. Today, the topic is going to be stress and anxiety. Now, when people hear stress and anxiety, they normally cool up. You know, it's something where they normally feel tense about. But I am here to tell you that anxiety and stress is natural. In everything you do, you should feel a little bit of anxiety. Now, is how you angle that anxiety. I am always stressed. Stress is something that I always feel this is something that I think I need to, to move forward, to keep on, push myself. So, certain time I would put myself under certain pressures because I know that, that it makes me better. It makes me work harder. So, yeah, sometimes stress is a burden, and, but it all depends on how you how you manage the stress. So what are you doing to, to make your stress less? And what are you doing to put yourself in stressful situations to better yourself? Because pressure is needed in anything you do in life. You should put yourself under a certain level of pressure in which you can manage something that you will overcome because the best feeling is to be anxious about something or worry about something and then you triumph over it and you conquer your fear and then you realize and look back and it's like yo me do that you know like Look how me did I worry about this and me get it done. That develop a level of confidence within you where nobody couldn't give you. Nobody now going to make you feel the way how you feel like when you did a fret boat, an exam or a test. When you did a fret boat, um, how you have to pay your bills them, the job interview where you go. The, the level of stress or anxiety where preparation have on your body the reward of putting yourself under that situation is very good and it is it, is a good feeling so stress stress and anxiety like me know me stress about things sometimes where people wouldn't even like people would have said yo stop worrying about that man stop thinking about that but it's how me you is fit to keep my to keep my clock going in terms of my ambitious clock my ambitious clock going and then when you stress about certain things brother just believe me no man somebody out there is a bit worse and then Everybody's struggle not the same. So you might feel like you're there at the bottom of the barrel. When you're really just afloat on the surface. Because as bad as things is not, there is always somebody out there in a worse situation than you. I promise you. You can be worried about making rent and somebody is worried about where they're going to sleep. And trust me, the level of stress where you feel can be on the same level because a man cannot stress say yo 
him want to buy a house and you are stressed to pay your rent. And the two are no under some wicked stress. So, you have to just know, say, yo, oh, them things they happen. And sometimes you have to just accept reality. And that it was the best thing me think me do was start realize, say, yo, oh, gee, you girl, whoever listen, say, you go feel. You go feel whole heap of time. Whole heap of things I do it now go work out. Whole heap of people you are talk to now, now go work out. The relationship where you're in when you are 18, 19, from your first love to your crushing high school to now. Sometimes things don't work out, brother, and I just live. But at the end of the day, it not going to kill you, it's going to make you stronger. Me never see a heartbreak give a man a heart attack and kill him yet. It's how him deal with the stress. And some people are strong enough. And me not really want to say strong enough because you don't know where a man a fight. So it's always good for try. For try to help people and don't try to compare your stress to fit them on. Because everybody's feelings different. So, what you might look upon as, yo, that a simple thing. It might be the worst to that specific person. So, although stress, stress and anxiety are demons that we fight every day and where we we have to buckle with every day. Them not go nowhere. Love, hate. These are things in life where we, where we are humans. These are natural feelings. These are natural things where come over your, your body as a regular human being. So, no matter which part and the social ladder they're there. No matter how rich or how poor somebody is, everybody have them feelings that when we just have to talk about. Stress, anxiety, love, hate, everybody have them feelings. Yeah. Me not care who you be, me not care what you do. I not care how rich you is. You can't, you can't tell me say you're never anxious yet. You can't tell me say you're never fearful. You can't tell me say you never feel when you do nothing. And to be honest, people, if you sit down and you worry every day about something and you get up and do nothing about it, you have to keep on a sink more and more in the feeling of like being anxious and anxiety. I have a characteristics where when me anxious about something or a certain level of anxiety come over me, I can't think about nothing else. I pace myself back and forth. I walk around in a circle. Like me, I say, yo, I hate a man tell me tomorrow. I like do things now. You know? Me, me naturally, I'm anxious about the podcast. You know? I'm anxious every time when I do it. And uh, anxiety cause that. Me. When me have a big exam I come up, when me used to the track and feel right before me run a race, is something natural. And the fear, what you feel when anxiety come over you, you have to just look into yourself and know, say, brother, sometimes things just not going to work out. And sometimes you're going to feel. I always respect the person who try. I always respect the person who try that murder they will feel and him do it again. Because I have failed so much time in my life now that it is it coming like nothing. Like some people would say like failure is not an option. I wouldn't necessarily say it's an option, but failure is an obstacle. Because 
feel that is always it, there's always a possibility of something not working so anybody out there where I worry about something or them feel down about something just keep it in the back of your head say brother at the end of the day a night <laughs> and the sun will come up tomorrow morning regardless of how good or how bad your day is or the rain might fall no worry yourself my grandmother used to always tell me say man a plan and got a wipe so you can be perfect at anything you do and something does come take all of that because you don't know what the world is you don't know tomorrow no promise for no man so all you can do a plan and make sure you say what you are do you are take it serious and you are move forward in a your purpose but although you don't have the thought of failure in your mind just remember say oh it can happen and you can fail but when you feel just smile and move on you don't necessarily don't sulk in it you know just smile and move on and it show character for the people and we keep on going and going because really and truly you know i always say this you know, sometimes you just need for bingo one time in, in anything you do you can bingo one time if me make 20 videos for the month the 20 of them now will go viral if me make no care how much podcast me do and all of them will go viral and sometimes i the one we least expect like that podcast i mean, never want to do that one here that one here woman do right now me feel lazy and then me talk to myself anxiety me, me end up do that podcast here because me sit down and me just feel anxious like me I say yo me now do nothing me need to get up and shoot this and it make me i shoot the podcast here right now so we don't need to get to yourself in a situation where you have a little piece of anxiety, little piece of fear, a little piece of stress. If you move forward, somebody that explain to you how me deal with my stress. So one of my recommendations then to anybody out there where I feel little fear or little anxiety about something is exercise. But now I ever stop preach exercise. Find a gym going on. Stay by yourself. Don't try mask stress or your anxiety with people. So when you have people around you, you're not show it. Some people are afraid to stay by themselves because that is when the stress and the cloud will come over them. But sometimes you need for them by yourself. And sometimes the thing where you are afraid about, it needs to happen because it's going to make you a better person. Certain lessons in our life, you didn't need it. So, go to the gym, exercise, develop a consistency in your exercising. Where the more your muscles them and your mind, you still you stimulate yourself every day. And the better you are going to be coming and dealing with certain pressure and certain stress. Read watch some tv i mean i know some people burn incense listen to a certain kind of music where I uplift you you know them things that really help take a jog just go jog find a park just go jog run listen to hopeful music and make you smile and laugh try to go around people where joyful and cheerful and you would think them joyful and then them cheerful and them are going through so much in them life and them not even show you that because for them smile and them laughter is for them masking agent to me a person that is a bully them can be going through so much so that them feel like them need to take out for them problem by you you might have worked now and you hate your manager. 
and your boss uh, pressure you up. But them just uh, try relay the pressure where them uh, feel upon you. Your manager probably out for lose for her position, so she uh, try feel the little bit of authority where she have left a push down upon you I say oh she not like you somebody you as a girl in her office right now your manager probably don't like you because you look better than her and and it stress her or she just anxious yeah, she's like she just afraid like she has a jar no she not really feel comfortable yet she feel threatened by you so it's always, it's always a ladder. It's just how you deal with, with the feelings that come over you. Because no lie, sometimes the woman, I lay down in my bed and it's like my mind clouded up with so much things when I have to do. And so much things when I never do. And so much time when I fail. And I always realize, say, yo, when you feel at something, the feeling where you get when you just like feel like when you never get the job, when you know, when something just never work out for you. You see that feeling there, I like disappointment and doubt. That feeling that will come over you during that specific time. It's just a feeling. Like you realize, say yo, if you cry for two days straight. You might smile upon the third day. Rain don't fall 365 days for the year. So no feeling what you have will last forever. The heartbreak where you go through today. Somebody will give you a joke next month, next week. You know, you might not have an appetite for eat today, but you are going to eat some food regardless tomorrow or no matter what. The world don't stop spinning my G. So, I saw you have to tackle, I saw you have to tackle depression and anxiety, man. I saw you have to just grab it and say, yo, brother, I understand I'm depressed right now. I may feel it, but yeah, I need this. Yeah, I need to feel like this. I need to feel so. Pressure met diamond. I saw me move on. You see, when you develop a level of confidence that in yourself, you take it on. Because I know a whole heap of time. I see people, I know a girl one time and shock me. This girl she buy like about a hundred wig. She spend all her money upon a hundred wig and like three cell. And she never disappointed, none at all. She was like, yeah, them dead eh. But at the end of the day, them can't spoil me. I put them down. I so sell them eventually. You know said, Yeah, so you have to look upon it. Remember when me used to keep party? Say me I keep a party one time and like nobody no come. I may have good friend and my friend them no come. Stranger no come. And so <laughs> moving on. Me me lose to them, me I go win tomorrow. So me look on it. So don't make certain stress things, certain stress need for happen. Remember one time, one time I buy a car and the car was so bad that I have to sell back the car for less than half of what I buy it for. And when I sell the car, I in a one bus. From Mountain View, I drive, I go home in a one bus. And the car did that stress me, I don't lie, every day I have the car, I stress out. And when I cut my losses from the car, People I say, yo, me an idiot, and me I say, yo, me just need to do that. But it never, it never dropped me. It never dropped me in a, like a hole. It never made me say, John, no deal. Give up. No, I'm going back to take the bus. It never did that. The day when me I take the bus to go home, me I look through the window. And when me I look through the window, I see a car, and I light the car, and I press the buzzer. Press the buzzer upon the JOTC bus, and I come out, and I walk up on the car mat. I walk over to the car and I say, no, say that car more. And the money, when I tell you, I, I lost, I buy the car for a thing like about $350. Sell back the car for $150. But I did also I put money in the car to get the car to work. And when I come out of the 
come out of the bus and go into the car mat and I look on the car what I want. I say, yo, you know, see how the car mat so the brother we working at the car mat I say, yo, yeah, man. And him tell me at the time in Jamaica it was like 900,000 for the car. And me have 150,000 dollars in my bag. And I say, yo, you take down payment? Him say, yeah. I say, all right, see 150,000 dollars here. This is the deposit. This is the deposit. People, I don't know where I get the rest of the money from, you know. But, but I never even carry home the 150,000 Jamaican dollars, you know. I just give him the 150,000 dollars. I say, yeah, man, I finish paying in two weeks. Me doing that never make me work so hard for nothing yet because of the pressure, the pressure when me put myself under, the, the anxiousness of, yo, deal, you're going to lose all of that money here if you're not find a way to make it back. So, stress, what you have got you right now, you have all the people. When move come to America, like you move come to America from Jamaica, and then you realize, say, yo, you're really alone, nobody now help you. Your bills them start pile up, your responsibilities start pile up. Can you remember, you know, the man will run off, you know, you feel anybody under more stress than him or her, the girl will leave her two, three people, them at Jamaica. And come try to live in America for, for better herself and don't have no papers. She can't drive no car because she don't have no license. She can't go look at no job because she don't have no papers. She's literally, she, she don't have, she can't do nothing. But she stress out and, but at the end of the day, she might go get her work. One under the table job for a while. She can't go work at one um, restaurant or something. Build up herself till she finds somebody married, sought out. And when she get better, and when she dip on her face, and if she carry her pit in them are foreign, a next stress I go come, and a next stress and a next stress. So nobody feel like so the stress way I feel, but. Where I feel now, I'm going to be the only stress you're feeling in your life. <laughs> God, that don't mean nothing. Yo, that don't mean nothing. Some, some situations where me put myself under where some man would be like, no, you're mad. But me need to do it. Because me prefer stress about things where I could change my life than just dead and nah, nothing for stress about. Nah, nothing for worry about. At them people, I'm afraid of. The man who not have nothing for lose. The person who not have nothing for lose, you know. Are the scariest person ever, you know. So, me look upon all them people who don't stress about nothing and as some quitter. Yo, I'm quitting and I give up, you know. I'm not stressed about nothing, you know. Can't bother that, you know. You say, I can't pay the mortgage, come take the house. Come in and make it stress me. You say, I can't pay the car note. Yo, come take the car, you know. Come repo this, you know. Come, I can't, I don't think I can't bother with this, you know. A man like that scare me, you know. How you just, how you just give up, so? How you give up? Like, certain time you have to cut your losses. But then there is blatant give up. So, me. Them people that scare me. John, I can't do it. Can't do it. So just know, say, yo, any form of stress you feel right now, my G, is something natural. And everybody have feel it too. And everybody have them own stress. Trust me, dog. Everybody have them own stress. Me, they say right now, me have a whole heap of different, different stress. Where, me just, if it work out, it work out. If it don't work out, me try something else. Me not go give up. Me not go stop. You know, me not go. Me not go blame somebody else for for my problem. Cause that is what a lot of people do. 
That is what a lot of people do when them under a certain level of stress and certain anxiety and certain level of anxiety. Them turn and start blame other people for situations where them put themselves in. A, and them are people where scare me too. Because stress and anxiety make you develop a level of accountability where John know I my fault this and me put myself in a that situation here. So me have to work it out. Me have to figure out how to, how to do it. So if you live in America right now, why I got you no stress because you move from Jamaica and body never tell you if you come here. And you do that. That's your fault. Yeah, if you feel like say yo, oh, you left your pit near Jamaica or you, you feel like you neglect your pitney them, yeah. Yeah, you neglect your pitney. Yeah, you run away. And a your fault, a you do it. Like a you fail the test. Nobody never take your hand and make you do the test. The car where you have where you can't pay for a you sign the paper and take out the payment damage. Nobody not do that for you. So you can't look to nobody to save you out of nothing. Nothing where you're doing. You can't blame nobody because nobody not hold your hand and force you to do nothing. Everybody in this world have a choice. And you have to just prepare to suffer the consequences of what come with that choice. So now, sit down and sulk and say, Yo, you know, say, probably if somebody did not help me, nobody not care about your dog. You have to do it by your own, my youth. Any, any stress or any financial burden where I put myself under dog and me responsible for it and me do it. So I don't look to nobody for no help. Because at the end of the day, you're there by your own. So whatever stress or anxiety you're under, just think about it. Say it's your fault. If somebody says something to you will make you hurt your feelings, somebody says something to you will hurt your feelings, G. Are your feelings, you know? Like, it not do nothing to them. That's why me, me I'm not the best person to ask, for like advice, because if a man do foolishness, me I tell him, say, foolishness him doing. You know? And if me do foolishness, me not blame somebody else for something when me do. And that are the first step of realizing, say, yo, me I go deal with, me I go, that this rough, but me rougher. You know, life tough but me tougher. That's when you realize when you start own up the thing them way I go through and say, yo, nobody know, nobody never tell me say figure out school. Oh yeah, well, alright. Yeah, your, 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 your parents tell you got school. But me I say, yo, nobody now force you after you reach a certain age. And if somebody tell you are you take up your foot them and go. Nobody never nobody never tell you for do certain things where you do. Yeah, you breed. You know, you have sex and you breed. Nobody never tell you. Nobody never send you. Go in yard. Go breed. And uh, you can't blame nobody for that. It happened. What are you going to do now that it happened? Are you going to turn this feeling into something positive because it cannot last forever? The breed where you go breed. The picnic that might be the greatest blessing and the biggest motivation ever in your life. The crosses girl where you breed, my G, she might bring forth the nicest daughter, the nicest son in your life. So now sit down and sulk about it and stress over it because uh, you do it, you know. Uh, you never pull out. Uh, you never wear no boots. No blame nobody. The person where they are work now, where miserable, are you apply for that job there, you know? That job they never take you out of your house and say, yo, come work, you know? Them days they're done. A, a ambition you have make you go to school and make you and make exam and test and stress you out. Are you? You could have stay home and be a croft and don't want to do nothing. So when you're anxious, you have to just know, say, yo, John, no, you know, say, me put myself under, under the situation, yeah. So that means, say, me can manage it. 
accountability. You need to have that. Figure out why your threshold, like why your breaking point. And even if you reach a breaking point, as a man, may I tell you straight up, cry. You don't necessarily need to cry to people. And me know say society make we don't uh, like let out certain emotions and them things. But yo, we have a ball more while. And when I say ball, G, I don't know if you're in your bed, lay down, just go ball. And if you don't want ball, shout. Yeah, man, when you're under certain stress, just grunt something. Go into the gym, go take it out from a piece of iron. Lift some weights from now till the morning. So you have to think about it. The girl will give you a bun. Chances are, you did a give her a bun too. Or, you could have take her back and then give her a bun. Regardless of what, people are people. And no matter what, any situation can happen, anything can happen. If it happens already, it can happen again. You have to just really take life by the hand. Take life by the hand, G, and move on. I don't know how people just sulk in them disappointment. Sulk in them fear. Stress until them eat wool heap and get fat. Or them stop eat and get maga. But if you realize, you know, Anybody out there would that stress over nothing. Me know you, you might not stress over that specific situation again. When me did younger, me did do something bad. Me used to fret, say, John, no. Stress out at school, whole day. Me I say, when me go home, my granny go beat me, you know. Until me I say, after, it's like you get the beat, now you don't get the beating, but life goes on. Me I say, what? That's so how life work? You know how much people right now feel GSAT are only get two subjects or drop out of university and in the moment when it did happen them did a stress out and them say I can't believe it my life done but then uh, probably the best thing could have ever happened to them was failing in that regard was when that happened to them so everything happened for a reason so it's just like you can give up and the reason why you give up is just because, you know, yo, I can't do this now. I can't bother. Take it. Go on. Go on with those. Go on with the car. You know, you got you a divorce right now and you and your woman have got you and you just give up and say, yo, I can't bother with this now. Yo, just walk away from it. Although you walk away from it, that doesn't make you a loser. That doesn't make she win. Or that doesn't make him win. It's really you acknowledging, say, listen to me. It's bigger than me. I don't think I can manage this right now. Moving on. Cut my losses. Do something else. That's why you're not for fear. Don't afraid for fail, brother. Don't feel for afraid. In a, don't afraid for fail in a nothing. Nothing at all you do. Nothing can perfect. No, the people them will like talk. Look upon the amount of people them will feel things. Look upon the man who always a try. Look upon the people them we talk the most about him. The person we talk the most about somebody that, that is trying is literally doing nothing. Because if them did do something, you wouldn't even notice. You wouldn't even notice. No matter what you do in your life, you can't escape criticism. I criticize and I get criticized. I will never tell a man, don't do something. But if a man give a joke... I am going to, I'm going to find it funny. It's not funny. May I tell you it's not funny. If I feel like you're ugly, I may have they run each other. I may have bridging enough. I may have friends. I'm going to be like, yo, dog, you're ugly. You know? I just, I just, I just, my personality that. My personality is, no matter what somebody said to me, even if me feel bad, how long me I go feel bad for? Time I move so fast right now, so I don't have time for waste and sit down and sulk in another failure and in another disappointment. So in a make no sense, I always say like, people, people were like, you want influencer out there, or you do something, are you afraid of what people are going to say? Like, people are going to be like, yo, that dress didn't look good, or yo, our clothes them not make good. Yo, dog, stop make music, brother, because that song, your song them not going away. 
at the end of the day, the people that are telling you that, what are they doing? Are they doing something that they love? They are probably miserable right now at work, listening to a boss that telling them to jump and them have to say, how oh, high? And that same boss, somebody telling him to jump and him have to say, how oh, high? So nobody is immune to failure. Nobody not immune to success. Nobody not immune to anxiety. Nobody not immune to depression. It happened natural. Everybody have the same type of feelings. Everybody go through it one time in a them life. So me as a man, I fight my buckles them by myself. What type of things me go through? And somebody will find it unbearable. Another person will say, yo, that's a joke thing. You know? Can you imagine? Me can tell a man, say, yo, I didn't grow up with no mother and a father. You know? And a man say, yo, brother, me was adopted. No, that can't be good and bad. I said, John, no, yo. It really it, it, is a difference. It's, a, it's levels to struggle and it's levels to stress. Like you see, the ghetto of Jamaica, the ghetto of Jamaica is not the same ghetto in some countries, you know. We thought, well, you know, you, you complain about, yo, sometimes your light cut off or your water cut off. Some people don't have running water. And that is the norm to them. As poor as you are, somebody is poorer. And as rich as there is, somebody richer than you. And the poorest man might be happier than the richest man in the world right now because the richest man have way more pan in plate to deal with than a poor man. A poor man have, have, have shortage of basic needs. And a rich man up, up there mad because him have so much thing pan in plate, so much things to deal with, him can't even focus. So stress relative, yeah, my G. Fight it. Go through it. Don't make it stop you from being better. Use it. Make it motivate you. If you move, if you do better and if you move forward. Don't afraid for fail. Embrace failure, my G. Don't stop try. Everything I do in a life. The amount of time I fail, brother. I don't even remember the amount of experiment I try. The amount of things I do I lose money. The amount of fail investment. The amount of fail addition we may do. The amount of time. I did want something and it never worked out. The amount of woman left me. The amount, anything in a life where they, it happened. It happened and it gone. And me I live and me I move on. It made me better. But always keep a little bit of anxiousness there and a little bit of stress there because it push you forward. I just what you do when it happened. Yeah, so the reasoning is raw. And the vice is real. So listen to me. That is all I have to say about the topic here. Please subscribe, like, watch me other video them. And you know, big up. If you can't watch, remember say so you can't listen to me thing them on Amazon, Apple, Spotify. Feel free to share the comments them. Anything you want me to talk about, comment it. And trust me, I read the comments them. I may see the love and I feel the love. Respect. I'm out.